Five Pebbles was quite the area. I wonder what's going to be coming up next. I know that I'm going to be going over to some sort of farm, but I I'm going to guess right now that's probably going to mean a solar farm or something like that. Because I can't imagine that uh, there's going to be too much of a level when it comes through going through a bunch of uh, corn stalks, for example. Hopefully I can get at it from here. You know, there's also a question, what area is even going to connect to somewhere up this high? I had to scale a gigantic tower just to get up here. At least the requirement is pretty low to get out, though. Anything? Oh, come on, give me the name. Because it's going to inform how much I'm going to be afraid of this area, basically. The more abstract or strange the name, it seems like the more I'm going to have to worry about it. Oh, is that like the uh, city or whatever it is in the background? Neat. Aside from that, it actually just looks like... Or maybe it's just going to be like one long trek over everything that I've already seen. Not going to have to worry at all about like fighting anything unless birds suddenly appear. No, I'm not going to have to worry about fighting anything or, you know, doing any sort of tricky platforming. It's just, you know, hey, you accomplished a lot in the previous area. Just have, just have a pleasant little walk, Slugcat. You, you've earned it. <laughs> and that's, that's fine by me. Restock up on all of your spears and everything and just, you know, enjoy the horizon. Don't really get to do that too much in the in rain world after all. Still haven't really gotten too much of an explanation for exactly what all these symbols are, but like for for example, this one. Seen an awful lot. Well, I guess I'll go over here first. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> what is this now? Maybe I am up higher than I thought? And also, hey, you know, last time I was saying uh, comparisons to be made to the, to, to, to like a cave story, but look at this. <laughs> and it's even called The Wall. Actually, I don't remember what it was called in that game, but uh, I just remember the name of the song was Moon Song, which is one of the best uh, tracks from that entire thing. So is the wall the thing that's kind of like separating off uh, whatever this place is from the rest of the world? I was thinking about that last time. The idea that maybe it's supposed to be like some sort of self-contained computer or something else. Can I walk around on this? Yeah, apparently, but you know, there's a question of why would I want to. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's like some sort of like self-contained miniature world and that's why... It's not as easy as just kind of walking in one direction and leaving. Not that I really tried to do that before, but... You know, if I did, I might have just run up against literally a giant wall, as, as it would imply here. I suppose I'll go take a, take a rest right now, just while I'm... You know, doing this here. Because one of the things that did get unlocked with the mark... Come on, get over here. One of the things that they get unlocked with the mark is a rank higher than Survivor, so... I lost it because, well, you might have noticed that I had to re-record some of the footage. Uh, I recorded it the first time without sound because I was wandering around for so long, so... You might... Yeah, if you really look at like some of the bits where I was going through, uh... Going through five pebbles, I already had like the dot above... Above Slugcat's head. Well, that was also where I lost all of these ranks, too. Which apparently goes, like, 4, 3, 2, 1. I don't know... I, I haven't seen any areas that require ranks, you know, that, that didn't seem to exist until right now. But I guess I would probably say that's what I'm going to need to get into the, the farm. There's that, uh... There's that thing once again. It's a lot like the the 
orange stock, but m maybe, you know, it has the same colors as, like, the, the robot girl. Maybe that's what it's supposed to represent. Like, because the, the Five Pebbles robot seemed, to, what, what you know, had, like, a orange color scheme in the same way that the, the eye stock did. Maybe that's not a coincidence. Maybe it's been watching me the entire time. But if that was true, don't you think that... Ugh, <laughs> this is kind of rough. Yeah, but don't you think if that was the case, it's like, would have been able to recognize Slugcat immediately? Explicitly says that Slugcat was not anybody, it was nobody special. It just happened to, Slugcat just happened to be the one that, <laughs> oh, there's multiple. Uh, Slugcat just happened to be the one that showed up in Five Pebbles. So, I don't know. Well, thus far, no pole plants have been horizontal. So I think I'm safe here. I think. This does appear to be a real area, though. I should go check um, next time I save to see if that does include, like, the... Uh, is there any, like, air do I have to drop down here? Okay, good. Because you never really... At this point, I don't know if I'm going to die immediately doing that. But, yeah, what was I even saying? Nah, I forgot. I forgot because I was worried about dying there. Okay. <laughs> it was worth it. Was it worth it? You know, I, I said that. I don't. I can't really say if it was truly worth it or not. I don't want to get killed by a pole plant. It's a thing. You understand? I also don't want to get killed by a um, lizard, but that might just be what happens at this rate. Ugh. Okay. This does not work out in the way that I wanted it to. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> that was... That was not going to do it. think this is a new area? I'm actually not entirely sure. A lot of parts of the wall here seem pretty similar as I'm going through them. Well, either way, it's like I probably would have died if I dropped down far any farther. Yeah, it seems like it's sort of a uh, grab bag as to if something is a... Hmm? Oh, no, that's just you. Uh, it seems like it's kind of a grab bag as to if something is a uh, bottomless pit underneath you or another area. In other words, I don't really want to uh, play dice when it comes to scaling downwards. Looks like I must be getting near the bottom because there's like a little bit of graffiti I'm starting to see. And I feel like... Actually, what is up with the graffiti in here? It's like, is that... There must have been people that lived here if there were... If there's a lot of graf graffiti about, right? Even if it was some sort of like... Super techno base... I have no idea. Huh? Did something fall down? I didn't see. Oh, no. Am I running out of time? No, I'm not running out of time. It's just getting a little bit rainier. Yeah, you know, that is something that uh, you don't really see a whole... You don't really see a whole lot... Like, outside this part of the game, which is... Clear, or at least clear-ish skies. It's pretty much entirely overcast otherwise, because, you know, the rain world, but... Maybe that was actually a place, like, completely unaffected by... Ah, very nice. Maybe that was a place completely unaffected by the... Whatever, like, the, the nature of the whole rain world thing is around here. Because one of the things I didn't mention as I was going through Five Pebbles is that... Uh, time limit doesn't matter. Like, the, if the cycle ends, nothing happens. There's nothing in there to happen. It's inside of a computer, I suppose. But at the same time, it's like, I suppose that might be the same sort of thing if you're on the outside of Five Pebbles. 
not entirely sure. Because it's just so high up that it's not going to be affected by the rain in the same way. That's another area to go to. Well, I got a save point here. I'm not going to go in right now. Besides, it requires a very low rank to actually get through. So that's fine. However, it's like, what's on the rest of the wall here then? Because that would be, that's like, you know, some sort of, I mean, that would imply, if I'm not wrong, that that's some sort of, like, alternate area to get into Five Pebbles Land. Perhaps. Because I was told that it's just, like, high rank. High rank means that that's, that's the entrance. Low rank means that's the exit of an area. Well, I suppose this is probably con still considered part of Five Pebbles, right? Oh yeah, speaking of graffiti, there's one in the back that shows uh, the robot girl as uh, as an angel, has a little halo above her head. It's a good thing I didn't kill her in this playthrough. Anyway, continuing on, I just I just want to see what else is here. Worst comes to worst, I'll just go back to the save point. We'll exit uh, through the gift shop and you know have a good time. But it just there's a minimal amount of enemies at this point in time, as you can see. So. Why not just kind of look around? Besides, now that I have the, uh, now that I am enlightened, it does make it a lot easier to see what's happening in this place. Ooh, ominous. What does it mean? I, I don't know. I, I, I actually don't know. I mean, when I said that, I wasn't being like ironic or anything. Another thing that was cut content from the, the previous episode was what happens when you do get like a rainstorm on the exterior. Is that death? Yeah, that's death. Okay, well let, let's just go through the the exit there. What happens when you when you do get a uh, rainstorm on the exterior, and it's not actually rain? Like all those green bugs start uh, producing a lot of lightning, and that's what happens instead. And actually, and one of the reasons why I wanted to cut that a little bit short is why I, when I was on the exterior was the fact that. Well, I didn't die when it started to happen. So there was like five minutes where Slugcat was just getting uh, electrified constantly until I tried to exit the area. And then the game was like, oh, wait, you're supposed to be dying right now. <laughs> this is the end of a cycle. No Slugcats allowed. Oh, there's uh, my yellow body again. I mean, he's got anything to say about like this stuff. Also a loading bar on the bottom, it looks like, which is kind of fun. So, what's this area now? Oh, actually, first. Chimney Canopy. Well, that actually sounds like a d downright pleasant area <laughs> compared to, like, uh, the... Oh, what, what's the, what was the, the area previously? The Shaded Citadel, for example. <laughs> it's not going to stop me from taking this, though. <laughs> well... We'll see, I suppose. I mean, so does the drain. No, the drainage system does sound kind of, like, gross, at least. Maybe not threatening, but, like, threatening in, like, a... I don't know, um... Oh, man, this is kind of a jump, isn't it? That is kind of a jump. <laughs> okay. Hey, great. <laughs> Just go, just go. Of course. I mean, hey, it is an air level, isn't it now? <laughs> Should have seen this coming. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I can also just go underneath here. And I don't think the birds are going to be able to get in here at least as easily. But it's like, yeah. I mean, yeah, we, we, we are looking at a point that is just like straight up... Um, in the sky and I did say earlier that it's like one of the things I've noticed is that going up high is generally that's where you find like some of the more troublesome enemies don't you like anyway get back down in here also a surprising lack of chimneys I do have to say but that's okay it's not like I had really high expectations vis-a-vis -vis chimneys 
Well, maybe I should go up just a little. I mean, I already know what's way up high. I've kind of already seen all of it, but let's check it out anyway. <laughs> just for fun. Just for some good old fashioned fun, Zos. Yeesh. Oh. I'm not losing like cycle, right? No, it's just kind of going all funky. Okay, sure. I hope that isn't some sort of absolutely gigantic bird. <laughs> oh, okay. And just, you know, do the old um, uh, shuffle and should be fine. <laughs> now, the question, though, is how, how am I going to make it across this gap? Whoops, not like that. I meant to throw that thing. Well, I suppose I'm probably not meant to make it across that gap. I'm probably meant to... Oh, no, you, I see you climb underneath. Okay. Well, let's check out what's up here first. No, Slugcat does not have the mad ups required. I don't like having to go along this tiny area, but it's fine. Let's look at it. Is there somewhere that you can... Not... No, oh, I guess I must... Where am I supposed to go here? I don't really see any easy area to get back up. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Uh, was it was there like some sort of area that I? Oh, whoops! I was gonna say is there some sort of area that Slugcat could cram himself into, but it might also be that I just need to do big jump from way up high, which is also kind of a rough thing too. <laughs> well, you know, I didn't really go down this area before. Might as well go check it out. I mean, I am kind of looking to get lower after all. And that might be, and this might be the best way to do it. Although I am still worried, of course, about um, the uh, the old. Yeah, of course, I am still worried about uh, the issues that I'm having with uh, birds. So that's a problem just by itself, really. I can imagine that this area is probably a lot. I mean, it's you know. Falling is easy, after all. Just ask that lizard right there. <laughs> ask him. He'll say... Ugh. Ask him. He'll tell you. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, great. <laughs> How about... um? Well, if you guys want to come attack me, that's, uh, that's totally cool. All you got to do is just... Make sure that you run through this. It'll be pretty funny. Come on, guys. Ah, okay, fine then. And by okay, fine, I mean, like, for real, though. Come on, do it. We got so much time before it gets all rainy and junk. I don't, I don't want to try to bean them with the... Oh, there's so many of them around here. And now we got this. What if you just got caught by the pole plant? Nope. Okay. Never. Then never mind. That's cool too. Oh man, there's a so many things happening here, which is getting a little bit. Um, you would think that those lizards would not have such an easy time um, getting up like Mark Echo, but I guess they they do. Like I mean, I'm just I'm I, I'm, I'm like. <laughs> You gotta do all these acrobatics around here and everything, but these lizards are just like, ah, for a quick snack, I'll do anything. Speaking of which. Come on. Not the ideal thing, but, uh. I suppose there's only so much I can do about it, after all. Now just switch the pipes while we're going back and forth. Do the old shuffle. And it's, ah, I was going to say it's good, but um, I did almost have problems arise doing all of that. It's nice to have my eye stock buddy back. 
Not so nice to see that, though. Oh, and that is a solid object. Okay, okay, that's fine. Not a problem, not a problem. And look, again, at least it's like... This could be way worse. <laughs> like I'm saying, it's like I, I, I remember what the... Uh, what um, going through some of the previous areas were like... It's like this is nothing compared to like Shaded Citadel. Oh, you just... It's, uh, it's hard to tell when things are going to be like screen transitions and when things are going to be just like the, the bottomless pits over to the left. You can tell the panic in my voice just from how I'm kind of like slurring words together. Anyway. Okay. Okay, sure. I'll take this. Oh, it's down there, eh? Well, I'll still check out what's up here first. Uh, grab one of these things, why not? But it's like, how am I, how am I doing on my time right now? Getting a little bit spooky. So, going to, hey, that's nice. Been, been a while to be on, oh, come on. It's like, what, what are all those colors appearing? That's, like, all those colors appearing say that I'm about to encounter a whole lot of very unfriendly higher level lizards. <laughs> Oh, they're tussling. Okay. That's fine. Ugh, maybe hitting it right next to me was not a good idea. Oh, well, either way, I did hit it around, and that's all I need to, um, you know. Oh, that's Scavenger. Okay, that's fine. Hey, Scavenger Man. I, I hope you're having a pleasant afternoon. I'll just do, like I said, the shuffle. Oh boy, there's a... Uh, there's quite a few characters around here, aren't there? Don't go after me! <laughs> That's unfair. There's a pole plant. Good, good to know. <laughs> but the amount of things happening right now is kind of absurd. <laughs> I just want to say. Like, I'm trying my best to deal with this, but good god, man. Yeah, okay, that'll work. This will all work. This will all work just fine. I think. Okay, there's just enemies like literally falling from the, the sky. What 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 do you even want me to do about this sort of scenario? <laughs> Slugcat, I I'd like to say that we're probably going to survive the rain, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I think that there's too much it's gotten too way too chaotic around here. <laughs> There's so many enemies. So many enemies. As I always like to say. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, yeah, now you can see the... Um... No, get out of the way. <laughs> now you can see that it is starting to get um, nice and uh, problems having. Nice and problems having, yep. Uh, okay. Okay. That's fine, though. Here, take whatever I got. I don't even care. Just let me get into the save point. No! Oh, what? No! Slug cat, please. Okay, good, good. That was close, but aside from that, I mean, I, I feel like that was... Like I said, falling down is a lot easier than getting up. That's fine by me. <laughs> Oh, and just because I am curious right now, uh, let's exit real quick because I want to see. It's like, a, what, is the wall considered a region? Is chimney canopy considered a region? Chimney canopy is. Okay. Not bad. Wall doesn't seem to be. And also, it seems to be like a very early area coming right after the... You know, I wonder... I, I was told that it's just like, there are three areas you can exit from in the, in, in the, at the start of the game. I wonder if that is, I wonder if that is, uh, the, the, the drainage system, some easier area that I haven't seen yet, and the chimney canopy. Because I can imagine if you're doing that, like, as your starting area or whatever, that would be pretty rough, especially if you have to, like, climb upwards. 
Then again, it does apparently lead directly to the wall, which leads directly to five pebbles, so. Spiders, when, you know, it is like a enemy by itself. Okay, there's a lot of lizards around here, I'm noticing. <laughs> She's gonna put that one out there right now. Is it gonna steal my uh, flower? No, I suppose not. Probably too small for that. However, they are still going at it, so I'm just gonna use this to... I'm just gonna use the slowness that I got from this to... Uh, okay, now I don't know what I'm gonna do. Throw one of these things? Still not entirely sure what they are, but... Eh. Is it like yelling? Oh, maybe that's what it does. Is it like, uh, will distract enemies or whatever by screaming when you throw it? Which could actually be pretty useful for these upcoming. Oh, right, right. right. <laughs> Don't want to forget about that. Which could actually be pretty useful for these upcoming areas, is what I was going to say before I got nearly pole planted. And probably that's also a pole plant if I was going to take any sort of guess. Go, look at. Also, we're going to get food at the same time that we're running around here. It's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> I think this might actually be the area that goes back up to the chimney canopy. Yeah. Well, I can also just check, though. I'm just coming through here. Did the lizard somehow get up here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. Thankfully, the lizards are all... We're getting some infighting between them, so... It is a manage. Oh man, the amount of enemies here! <laughs> they ain't getting around. Might, might no. Time is fine. I just saw some rumbling and I was a little bit worried for a second. Yeah, I'm gonna take this bat for a ride. Both of them, in fact. <laughs> just kind of do that and go. Yeah, there's backflip. That's cool. All right. Now then. I mean, now that I am firmly... Well, let's take a look here. Where am I right now? It appears to still be a newish area. I'm not, like, back out in the exterior or anything. I suppose I would know if, when I get there, after all. Well, there's another save point, though. Uh, sure, why not? I'll, I'll take a... I'll take a second. There are plenty of bats around here and everything, too. Okay, I can also engorge this lizard too, which I might just want to do. <laughs> which seems real weird, but you know, hey, it might be useful. Certainly if I'm going to be running into this amount of uh, lizards, like something that will be able to distract them, I was able to just kind of walk right by that one blue lizard, so... That's something, I think. Ah, we're doing this. Okay, that's fine. Nope, that didn't do anything. <laughs> then I don't know exactly what these things do. But uh, that means that I am going to have to go grind out a, uh, a rank or two then before continuing on, it seems. Which is okay. There's plenty of bats around here. It should make it pretty easy to do. Oh, there's also just these plants over here, which will also be pretty good. All right, that should be enough to get through here now. I guess I only actually needed one more rank, so we did not take any amount of time to go. That said, I don't know, it's, it still was literally me just eating food and then leaving. So I think it's, it's still justified to cut him out. All right, now I am going farther west. I do not know what that means in the context of this game, but I do know that that means, you know, that I'm going to be doing something. Industrial complex. Okay, so this is not just, like, going immediately right to the... Wow. Kind of far down. Um, This is not going to be just immediately going right to the, uh, to the previous area. There's a number of different things here, apparently. Ah, fine. Yeah. 
whatever. Frankly, at this point, like I, I feel like, oh, this, some of this backtracking is just some of the more minor stuff that I'm not even gonna need to worry about. Though there are some camouflage lizards, and those things are annoying. And I suppose I can't be entirely, uh, you know, frivolous with how I'm gonna be playing this. Fortunately, it does seem like I am going to have to also go and uh, follow around ye old lizard man. Which is not great, but I mean, what else are you going to do? So how am I even going to get up here? Uh, is there like a... No? No? Is, is there anything? I, I guess, okay, fine. I guess I'll go back up then. <laughs> Whatever you say, game. I, I guess at least at this point they don't give you a bunch of... A bunch of uh, uh, bottomless pits to worry about, which is kind of nice, but still. <laughs> you have to do a little bit of tricky falling, which is always kind of frustrating. I see you there. It's going to try and attack me. Well, kind of. Oh, but am I going to be able to get over there from here is the question. Yeah, I think that that's going to be more of the issue as of right now. Well, let's take a look. Nope, and I didn't even nail the uh, the spear in there like I wanted to either. Ah, uh, well, because that could have at least been a good um, a good platform to crawl around on once I got back up to the top. But, ooh, never mind. Okay, I think I actually got the save point this time. Man, what a... There are just lizards falling from the sky and everything around here. It's horrible. But hey, at least now I don't have to uh, go farm up um, ranks again in the previous area because there is just this one uh, save point here. That's all I require. Good, good. Oh, man, terrible. Just absolutely terrible. I, I don't know, it's like I usually don't really have too much trouble with lizards, but it's like those guys are just literally popping out of nowhere. <laughs> well, anyway, back into the industrial complex. Which I guess is another new area? Actually, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe this is part of the same place as like the, uh, the chimney canopies. I'll have to go look around soon enough, but it does seem to be some sort of nesting ground for lizards, which is kind of a problem. <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be uh, getting as much food as possible. Really not going to want to go through this area a whole bunch more times. It is surprisingly difficult just because enemies, yeah, just ambush you like that. Like that. Just go, just go. Cool, that actually worked out super well. I'm, I'm honestly pretty surprised. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Well. Look, I'm, I'm out of there, so I'm not going to worry about it. Wow, look at that thing. To be honest, it's like that thing looks like it is of the size where it would probably be me. So... Rather than me eating it. Because, like, the smaller ones, no problem. Slug cat will shove them down its gullet all day, every day. But, you know, I just think that... I'm sure there's probably at least one type of enemy that... You know, when it gets large enough, it goes from eat to eaten. <laughs> okay, well, eaten to eat. You, you know what I mean. Anyway, I like the uh, kind of like multicolored. I don't know, maybe this is supposed to be like a oily place or something like that. Sort of interesting to see, but also uh, it really gets through the griminess of this whole well the. Uh, Industrial complex, I suppose. Easiest way to put it. Can we go down here? No, that's like a lizard only route. I guess. Ah. 
I actually did call that. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm just like, I don't really think, I, I don't really need to use that pole for anything. So if it turned out to be a, a pole plant, I guess it wouldn't really surprise me at all. Hmm? Well, nothing too much over here aside from one of these adolescent lizard guys. Which I will take. They, I still haven't been able to use them properly when it comes to a distraction just yet. But maybe it's it's about time, I suppose. It's about right now. So now it's just wandering around. Let's look at go. Get in the right direction. So you can make it. Thankfully, that lizard does not seem to be too fast. I think. Okay. I mean, it's just going to keep following me, but as long as I am fast enough, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Yeah. No, I doubt it's going to be able to, to keep on track from this point. Maybe. Hey, it's one of those things. I Very far away from the water, which is kind of unusual. Oh, I don't need any more. Uh, very far away from the water, which is kind of unusual, but yeah, I'll take it. Sure. Oh, well. Maybe that's not actually the case. And then also we got now the blue lizard coming up here from, from this side, which is super cool just by itself. I don't even think I want to hang around here. Like, I, I'm sure that the lizard is probably better in water than I am. And, I, and, like, the popping snails are nice and everything. They're not going to be able to take care of a foe like that. At least with any amount of ease. So... Booking it out of here just seems like the best option. All right, and what do you got? A lot of different areas. Somebody that was getting in my way. Oh, well, I'll still take this anyway. Good. Now, the real question is, is there going to be any way around these lizards? Oh, they are fighting each other. Yes. They are not fighting each other anymore. Or, no, they are. Yeah, just kind of get right through here. And then wherever this goes, it's probably better than where I'm at right now. Good. I, I, you know, I still don't really have too much of, like, a direction as to where I'm even attempting to get to. So I'm just going to, like, go anywhere that I possibly... Anytime I see an entrance into a new screen, I'm just going to go there. And I'm going to see if it sends me to a location, I suppose. Because, I mean, the only thing that I know right now is to go west. Ah, great. Well, whatever, I can go check out other locations, too, around here. Yeah, the only thing I know right now is to go west, and that's... that's it. So, if there is, like, any other greater, um, missions aside from that, I'm not aware of them. Oh, there is a... there's a point down there. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe I should go. Because, you know, I can easily, like, grind out some rank, too, just with the amount of... Uh, food that I got available to me right now. And in fact, I think I will. So, uh, hang tight while I go do that. Alright, now let's see what's... Oh, it's just... Yeah, I guess right to my left is another gate. Which is good, because... <laughs> yeah, I, um... Just ground out all this rank. Not that I needed it, this is clearly the, e clearly the exit for the area, but still... And that at least means I'm going somewhere. <laughs> well, what do we got? Oh, just back in the outskirts. Okay, well, there's that then. Hey, as always, back in the outskirts, so you know what that means. That I'm doing this basically. 
and the green lizard's not very smart, so that's good for me. Anyway, now then, oh yeah, right up here. So I wonder if that's the third area, first area that you're supposed to be going to? Or, well, the, the third hardest area or the first area that you could possibly go to, but hey, at least now we're, we're all the way back at the beginning of the game. And I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to look around until I can find a... I, well, I, I'm going to call it for this episode, and then I'm just going to look around until I can find whatever the, uh, the next area that I'm supposed to be going to is. Because I certainly didn't see anything that required, like, a circle or X rank of karma when I was looking around earlier. 